Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in our parallel playthrough of the Tour de France 2021 in Pro Cycling Manager 2021. Today with another sprint stage and that is stage number 13. Isn't it looking nice? A very long stage, 221 kilometers here in the game and uh, we are holding the green jersey. First and second, still Alaphilippe in front. We shall see who will have it towards the end of this uh, tour, but Ballerini is more and more positioning himself to uh, take a good spot. Now in second, just 20 points behind Alaphilippe, taking yesterday's win, of course, so that was a big one. And today will be interesting because we do have that intermediate sprint there. Let's see how uh, many escapees are going out, if they uh, actually want to um, uh, let the escapees go and finish this stage and have a bit of a rest day on a long stage. I don't know what their plans are, but I assume not, because there are not that many sprint um, chances remaining, because we are going to move into the high mountains once again very soon. Hello and welcome to all. Today we have the second stage in a row that seems to be tailor-made for the sprinters. However, they'll have to pull off a Tour de France exploit, because up till now, no finish in Carcassonne has given rise to a mass sprint. Ooh, okay, that's an interesting day. Oh, our sprinter is looking fantastic today, which is great. 81 flat, uh, 81 sprint and 79 acceleration. So great stuff. But problem, some of our other riders are not quite doing as well. Alaphilippe having another bad day. Cav, an awful day. And Cataneo is about ready to get um, in, into his coffin. Kasper is looking like a good leader today, as is Merkov, of course, as always. Um, he is having a fantastic day too, so yeah, maybe that's the play. All right, all set up. And now with Kasper that far forward, I'm... Oh, come on, please, for once. Ah, so, someone is going. Please let me join you. There we go. We are in an attack with Kasper Asgren on a very long flat stage. I think that suits. I, I think they are trying to mount an, a counter attack though. That That is likely. All right, let's pull and uh, what? What's happening here? Oh, we Kasper has nuked the peloton. All right, call him back, call him back. This is uh, a little too much. They clearly don't want us in the breakaway. Going to try one last time, just to make sure that I've interpreted this right. Uh, it looks like it, but yeah, this is just chaotic. They are getting away, or are they? No, not really. Okay, another last try, come on. Perfect, perfect positioning right there. Let's see if we are allowed to go. Highly doubt it. Oh yeah, they are just nuking it behind. Or are they trying to get away as well? I don't think so. So let's counter attack again. Let me go alone then. Oh well, no, it's feet up. Uh, feet up. <laughs> uh, feet up and not a chance. Um, yeah, these, these riders probably want to go nowhere either. Okay, I'm out, I'm out. That is uh, not something they are going to allow here. Although 24 sec- no, they are ch still chasing like crazy behind. Yeah, and they're giving up too. Yep, alright, alright. Casper is not allowed. He's no bueno. We, we can't have him in any attack. That is a shame. Um, could you- Oh, I, I was just going to ask if you could explain why Devenant is classified as an A1 rider while he was in the middle of the peloton. But uh, yes, so things are now going to settle down a bit more quite soon, I hope. With just three SKPs up front, we are going to have a nice chance to grab some points for the green jersey as well. So we got to set something up for that. Still a long way to go though. 60k until the... Um, Escape group is there. Now 53. And 10 kilometers remaining. What is our setup for this one? Slightly grinding higher the sprint. Um, slight uphill. Maybe 1% roughly. 
So we are going to set it up like this. Casper is going to pull us and lead us out. Powerful lead out and then Ballerini sprints for max points and Alaphilippe is going to take a few as well, hopefully. And uh, the rest should be fine. Why is Alaphilippe down there? Holy shit, what are you doing, mate? Okay, now he's, he's finally getting to here. That took a few kilometers to get him back. It was completely gone down there in the bulk of the peloton. So now let's accelerate a little. Get a bit of good speed going. Let's squeeze off a few sprint trains here in the corners. And this is now getting very close. So uh, lead out time. Let's go 95. And don't cut us off here. Um, two kilometers. This is looking good. Now we have a bit more space. Uh, Matthew's there. We have Peterson right there. And here we have... Oh, th there's Tim. There's, uh, there's the Tim. So uh, let's... Yeah, let's go 99. And start sprinting with Casper. There we go. That's a hard, hard lead out. And he's almost empty. Ballerini can go from here, 700 meters. That's a hard sprint, come on, come on, grab it up. Ah, yeah, okay, we got a few points there. I think that was pretty well done overall. Um, couldn't quite beat Peterson, and Michael Matthews took points away from Alaphilippe. Well, that's fine. The three escapees are guaranteed to be caught here at this point, more or less. Two minutes on the clock, 46 kilometers left to go. All right, nine kilometers left to go. Let's check out the finish. And see if there's any uh, trickiness in there. So we do have... Oh, yes. Okay. Um, that's uh, two sharp bends. And this again looks like about two kilometers away from the finish. If this is nine in total. Uh, maybe a little bit more. 2.5. So overall, probably pretty straightforward from there. So like I said, today's setup will be based on... Merkov instead. So let's join him and hope that we are not going to be eaten by the peloton once again once we set it up like this. And he needs to go like 85 from the get-go and the others need to just lock in. Um, Kasper, can you do anything? Maybe. Just go dot .85 and maybe you end up at the front and then you can pull a little if you indeed do. Oh man, what is going on here? Ballerini, come on. Uh... Ballerini needs to get out to the si side. Can you get through there? Please. Come on. Get through. There's a massive gap. Go. All right. Alaphilippe is joining. Mogov is coming there. That's looking good. Where's Kasper? Kasper is right behind. Yeah, that's not too bad. So now we have them set up. Kasper is even joining. I think what we are going to do is let Kasper pass... And then um, he's going to ride the first bit. Although it might become a little dangerous. Uh, we can set him to like 95. Oh, that's the wrong rider. We can set him to like 95. It should still protect Murkov quite well. And there we the go. Cusper. No, don't, don't, don't. Stay on your side, please. That is pretty good. Who is trying king is trying to pull there for them no not them are uh he has the wrong rider on his wheel but yeah this is looking like a good lead out where we have forgotten to put our bars on 4.3k only if they trigger fast will they actually kick in the finish is mostly flats ever so slightly uphill so yes let's go hard here and there we have the first bend we are leading nicely into this one yeah, double bend here. So let's go 99, just to be sure. Yeah, we do have a bit of protection here to Ballerini with Merkov there. And a very nice lead off. 3.5k to go. That's looking strong. Now put in a solid acceleration. And 3k to go. The sprint train is on. There we go. 99. Can you go faster? 2.6k. Uh, do we want to go faster at this point? Because that will probably make Ballerini suffer already. Oh, Sonsas, 166, not too bad. Yes, yeah, so let's see how it plays out. Uh, 99, I, I think we are doing pretty well. Sagan is there. These guys are just too far behind right now. 
If we keep the speed up, we should be good. Yeah, look at where they are. Philipson down there, he's a little stuck. Okay, Casper, just go pull. Go, 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 go. Harder, harder, two point. Okay, now sprint, sprint, sprint. Can we accelerate from here? Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay, it's now time for Milkov. So you go and sprint, mate. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Everyone pull through. There, one kilometer. Ooh, he is so strong that he is completely destroying everyone behind him, though. That is not quite how we planned it. Um. Any, anyway, one kilometer left to go. Who's there? Sagan and Bola are there. Okay. And oh, then there's a big nothing. Philipson down there. I don't know how much they have left in them. Yeah, okay. L looking interesting. So that is one, still 1 1.2 kilometers and we're so empty already. Have we overdone it? Have we overdone it? So we need to go now. Yes, with Ballerini. So go, 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 go. Ballerini is... Uh, Ballerini is coming up. No, who's coming there? Who's coming there? Oh, another win for Ballerini! Yes! And lots of points for Alaphilippe as well. Beautiful. Oh, what a lead out once again. And there we go. It is the, the blue jerseys on the girls that are uh, the important thing. And we have today's winner. Again, Ballerini. Yes, he is just collecting those points. Oh, general classification, nine seconds? Was it nine seconds before? I can't remember. I didn't think they were quite that close. Or were they? Maybe. Um, anyway, yes, so I assume nothing has changed there. In the green jersey, though, let's take a look now. This is mountain, mountain jersey. We don't care. We don't have a rider for mountain jersey. And there we have it. Alaphilippe still just about leading in front of Davide Ballerini. Uh, 211 and 206 points. Good team, that. Uh, well, team in, in that way that Alaphilippe is just leeching off in the slipstream. Unlike in reality, where he's actually part of the sprint train, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then we have that, that jersey. Uh, good stuff. Let's just give you the overview after the stage where we are at. Let's see. Uh, that <laughs> was a finish. If your lead out finishes fourth, then you know you have a good lead out. Um, so, um, Alaphilippe in sixth, still four minutes 38 down. And we are now leading nicely here with a good buffer. Just checking if there were any splits here. Nope. Everyone on the same time. And what awaits us tomorrow? Stage number 14. And this one is certainly... A hilly one. And I think this is the first stage. Like I said, I think, I believe I said it in my preview. I think this is the stage where a breakaway actually will take the win. Um, so, yeah, let's see how that works. But that is some, that's a lot of climbing. I hope Alaphilippe is feeling a little better. And with that, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time. Hey, you there. I heard you like cycling games. I think I got something for you here. The Cyclist Tactics is a turn-based strategy game in which you lead a small team of professional cyclists from humble beginnings to competing for the top of the podium in the toughest and most prestigious cycling events in the world. In the highly tactical, procedurally generated races, success comes about when superior decision-making meets careful resource management and planning. Teamwork is essential to keep your leaders protected, avoid peloton pulling duties, create lactate threshold crushing lead outs and to set up your lead rider in perfect position for the final dash. Guide your team's riders as they gain skills and progress from struggling eager novices to monument winning superstars with a hefty price tag and more flaws than they started with. If you fancy nuanced tactics where decision making is king Follow the game's development and try out the demo.